Kerala Chief Minister Uman Chandi on the campaign trail. As the UDF government in the state tries to hold on to power, despite scams and the recent horrific cases of violence against women. People know the real fact. Allegations and uh, reality is entirely different. See that um, they agitated for a judicial commission. We have ordered judicial for a judicial inquiry. Then they withdrew. The chief minister has been facing several challenges of late. Most recently, after the solar scam, after the land scam, most recently, the violent crimes against women, which have tarnished the image of the state, and had even Prime Minister Narendra Modi raising the issue, the issue of law and order and the lack of, perhaps, law and order and safety for women in the state. But confident here in his constituency of Pudupalli, as he seeks to win here for the 11th time straight. In the other corner, the LDF is equally certain it will be their turn in power. It is still not clear if Pinarayi Vijayan or veteran V.S. Achutanandan will be the choice for chief ministerial candidate. But the 92-year-old former chief minister is confident and plays down the much-reported bad blood between the two left leaders. Politically, things are still very warm. And this campaign, this spot waiting for the arrival of a veteran communist leader, CPM leader V.S. Achutanandan. Kerala has history of UDF, LDF, UDF, LDF. So this time, is it LDF's turn to come back to power? Surely. In lots of people talk about relation between you and Mr. Pinarayi Vijayan. Is there an issue there? Are you friends? He's my dear friend. The third front, the NDA, is trying for an entry into the assembly, with the prime minister campaigning in the state. But the real battle for power seems to be between the two older fronts in the state. And it is a hard-fought battle. With Govind Murthy, Maya Sharma in Kerala for NDTV.